Mr. Chair? Yes, the Honorable yes. Vice President. When you President. sent a letter to the Office of the Vice President, you attached a copy of the rules okay. um, in aid of legislation. Yes, po. Yes, sir. Nakalagay po doon na witnesses lang po ang inuot. Sabi niyo po, ngayon sa amin, resource persons kami. Ang, ang ano po, considered as resource person po. Ang ano po? Kayo po. Kaya nga po. Yes po. Lahat po, ino-out po. Yes. Apo. Nakalagay po sa rules ninyo, witnesses. Eh, nakalagay po dito ngayon sa table, resource persons. Lahat po uh, considered as a uh, resource person and witness. Uh, lahat po naman kayo, lahat resource person pa. Eh. Wala pa naman po tayong uh, uh, tinatawag na... Lahat po considered as with, uh, resource person pa naman po. Right. Opo. Ang nasa rules ninyo, witnesses lang po ang nag-uot. Wala po kayong rules sa resource persons. Ma'am, ano lang po yun eh. Uh, yung, yung term lang po yun eh. Pero considered as a resource person din po kayo eh. Yes, sir. Uh, resource persons nga po Kayo nakalagay dito. Kayo witness din po at saka resource person po. Um, hindi niyo po sinabi na witness ako. Sinabi niyo po dito ngayon, resource persons. Ang nakalagay po sa rules ninyo, witness. Komsek, ano po yung uh, pinadala po ninyo? Yun pong rules in aid of legislation. Paki... Mr. Chair, point of order. What is the point of order of the yes. Honorable uh, uh, Congressman uh, Mapapagal? Because this issue about witness, resource person, etc., etc. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, pakilakas lang po, hindi po marinig. Persons and accused um, has been taken up in previous legislative inquiries in aid of legislation. Um, and uh, I want to quote a December 8, 2008 hearing in the Senate where Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago issued uh, had a similar, uh, had an opinion on a similar situation, but she uh, quoted a Supreme Court ruling. So um, the... Um, the Constitution provides that no person shall be compelled to be a witness against himself. Uh, the Supreme Court has repeatedly emphasized that there is a difference between a mere witness and the accused. And it can appear from uh, statements and privileged speeches that there is a, that, uh, that a uh, person who is the subject matter of an adverse of adverse uh, privileged speech is not a mere witness or a mere person of interest, meaning a suspect. She is, in fact, accused of what seems to be a criminal case for violation of certain criminal laws, including malversation of public funds. And um, the, there is a case quoted um, in 2007, Standard Chartered Bank, versus the Committee on Banks, uh, where the court repeated the rule that an accused occupies a different tier of protection from an ordinary witness. So, um, where the court said, Supreme Court said, whereas an ordinary witness may be compelled to take the witness stand and claim the privilege at each question requiring an incriminating answer is shot at him, an accused may altogether refuse to take the witness stand and refuse to answer any or all questions. So that has been a uh, supreme... And then there is a portion... The, the court explained that the right of the accused against self-incrimination also applies to respondents in administrative investigations such as in legislative inquiries in aid of legislation. So that is the point of order I am raising, and there is a Supreme Court ruling to this effect. Thank you, Mr.
With that, uh, the chair declares one minute suspension, recess. Judicia case or rule? Very to the sub judicia case, but uh, it is saying that uh, when a witness, in fact, is in, 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 in reality the accused. Ma'am, pakilakas uh, po ng konti. Medyo uh, hindi ko po... What he's saying is that uh, if by the, you know, by the nature, for instance, of the privileged speech, if uh, the witness is not a mere witness, but the person being asked is not a mere witness or a mere person of interest, he is in fact the accused of what seems to be a case uh, including malversation of public funds. And, um, and the court repeated, repeated the rule that an accused occupies a different tier of protection from an ordinary witness. So we, we, I, 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 uh, I, from given what uh, Miriam de Persor Santiago said and the Supreme Court uh, ruling that she's quoting, uh, we cannot, um, what do you call this, we cannot uh, just trivialize Ah, kasi you're just a witness. You're, you're a witness. Pareho na rin yung witness, resource person. They are not the same. The Supreme Court says they are not the same. And somebody who appears to be the accused has a different tier of protection from a witness. And in fact, uh, can, uh, can refuse to take the witness stand. Congressman Flores, you're recognized. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, this is an inquiry in aid of legislation and no uh, one is technically accused of any wrongdoing here, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, look at the speech. Ma'am, uh, please. Look at the please, speech, Mr. Chair, the privilege. Please wait to be Mr. recognized. Mr. Chair, may I request a wait. one minute I will, uh, I will, recess? One minute. One minute Thank recess you. declared by the yes. Chair. Mr. Chair, yes. Mr. Chair. Session resumes. Mr. Chair, may I speak? You will be given the opportunity later, okay. uh, Madam Vice President. Uh, in any event, the, the point of uh, the Honorable Arroyo is uh, well taken. Uh, but we will proceed to the oath taking if the Vice President uh, refuse to take his to take her oath uh, we will respect that uh, in the meantime comsec please uh, proceed with the oath taking of the other witnesses uh, to all the other witnesses and or resource persons um, please stand up and raise your right hand inviting the dbm the COA, and other staff from the office of the vice president your honor okay please your right hand do you solemnly swear that the statements you will give before this committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. The oath has been administered, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman. 
Mr. Yes, Chairman. Congressman uh, Paduano. As, uh, of course, you have already ruled with regards to the point of the, of the order being raised by the former president and now representative of Pampanga, Madam uh, Gloria Macabagal Arroyo. But still, there is also a pending, supposedly a pending manifestation being made by the members of this committee with regards to the point of order that was raised. So I think, Mr. Chairman, we have to hear first but of course, you have already ruled. But we have to also to hear the manifestation of the members of this honorable committee. And in that case, you have already recognized uh, the good uh, Congressman Kit Flores. And I think uh, it is just proper to recognize him once again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Congressman Paduano. The honorable Flores is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. But I think the ruling was already made, Mr. Chair, and I will submit, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Paduano. We will now um, let us uh, also discuss the administrative matters.